first question on uh, the right side, third row. Yeah, John Hollinger from The Athletic. Jimmy, I'm just curious how you were feeling physically tonight, especially coming from the Game 7 in Boston, flying straight here, the altitude. Just how, how did it all feel for you on the court tonight? It felt great. I think everybody felt great. Um, missed some shots, uh, didn't get back a little bit. But overall, I feel like everybody's playing was good. Um, everybody was moving well. Okay. Next question, first row on the right side. Okay, we're going to go on the left side here for the rows, gentlemen. As you change my mirror, Jimmy, Steve, um, did it take a while? Did the player took a while to get used to Denver's offense just in a unique way to kind of generate uh, shots around the rim, especially in the paint there early on? I um, mean, they're a physical group. And I think we had to adjust to their physicality early. Especially myself. I mean, I had a couple of layups on me early that we had to adjust to. Um, but, you know, it's a long series. First of four wins, adjustments will be made. Uh, we'll learn from this loss. First row in the middle, Joe Barton. Joe Barton, the athletic. Two questions. First, Gabe, you got kicked in the head there. I wonder if you're, how you're doing after that. And then, um, when teams play the Nuggets in the playoffs, when they see them for the first time, they are. They remark on with how much force they play. So I'm just wondering what you thought of the Nuggets through through one game. Um, I mean, I got a lot of hair on my head, so my head's doing all right, thankfully. Um, but they're they're a good team. They're well coached. They're talented. Um, you know, it's going to be a challenge. It's the finals. You know, we don't expect it any other way. Uh, we're looking forward to game two. Uh, I, I definitely think they came out with um, a lot of physicality. We have to be able to match that. They, they did their job on the home floor. You have to say that, uh, but we will be ready. Like you said, we will adjust, do some things very differently, and uh, come out here and be ready to get one for game two. Left side in the fifth row. Jimmy, Nick Friedel, ESPN. Why do you think the offense struggled so much to find its rhythm throughout the night? Probably because we shot a lot of jump shots myself, probably leading that pack instead of um, putting pressure on the rim getting layups, getting to the free throw line. Uh, you know, when, when you look at it during the game, they all look like the right shots. And I'm not saying that we can't as a team make those, but got to get more layups, got to get more free throws. And um, whenever you miss and don't get back, the game gets out of hand kind of quickly. Um, we gave up too many layups, which we can also can't have happen. Um, but that's, that's it as a whole. We got to attack the run a lot more, myself included. On the left side, fourth row. Uh, Jimmy and Gabe, both for you, uh, Wes Gilbert, Clark on Podcast Network. Um, it felt like Bam was involved in the offense even more than in previous series. Was there things that you guys were able to do as this game went on to just play off of him a little bit more than maybe you guys were doing earlier? Uh, I mean, I think we're always trying to find Bam. And the way they guard, he's tended to be open with some of our sets a bit. And he made some good reads tonight. He made some shots. You know, he's, he's aggressive. We're going to need him to continue to be aggressive. Um, I continue to attack and, and continue to make the right reads for us. I agree. Um, Bam is making shots. I think he makes everybody's job a lot easier. Um, we want him to continue to be aggressive, and he was making you know the right passes when he couldn't um, get a bucket as well. Um, and those shots will fall for everybody the next game. Stay with it. Keep playing uh, that style of basketball. But in the end, um, if we if we guard a little bit better, not give up so many layups, get back. Uh, I think the game's a little bit different. Staying on the left side, second row. Peter Bauer with The Athletic. Uh, Jimmy, I'm, I'm curious, Haywood Highsmith seemed like he was a, a bright spot for you guys tonight. Just what did you see out of his game and what has he done to kind of earn more and more playing time? Uh, he's, he's comfortable and confident. He shoots the ball uh, very well. He cuts to the rim, he guards. He does anything and everything that you ask him to do. Um, tonight he spaced the floor incredibly well. He has some timely cuts, uh, you know, some stops, um, some hustle plays, and that's, know what, what made his mark in his league for him and he's continuing to do it even in the finals. Going to the right side, second route. With the uh, Jokic had an efficient night and also had the 14 assists, so it kind of got to both parts of his game. How, how do you think you guys did in this, this first attempt with him and what do you want to adjust with his unique style of play? I mean, he's talented. He's an MVP. You know, he's, he's going to make plays. He's going to be great. At times, we just got to continue to make it difficult. We'll be physical with them when we can. Um, 
like we mentioned, take away the layups, try to take away these cuts, and um, you know, attack them on offense. Staying on the right side, second round. With the way uh, Will Guillory with the athletic, with the way they move off the ball, how difficult is it just to prevent some of those switches that lead to you know some of those Aaron Gordon post ups or uh, Michael Porter Jr. shots at the rim, and how much is that going to be a focus in game two, not allowing them to create some of those switches? I think it was a focus in game one, um, and obviously would be a focus in game two as well. We just got to be better on put body on body and um, making sure that. Challenging everything at the rim, um, not giving up back cuts and slips for open threes. I think whenever you watch the film, it's going to look way worse than it really is, but that's all we're going to learn from. Two more questions, first row. Uh, Tomaris, are from Clutch Points? Uh, Jimmy, you played all around game, you have been for a while. How do you balance kind of feeling your way through a game versus, you know, putting your head down, attacking, and not just playing with off what they give you, but making stuff happen yourself? I think I've, I've, I've done well in that area. I'm always going to pass the ball to my teammates. I have so much belief and faith in them um, that they're going to take and make shots. And if they can't, then they're going to make the next play. That's how we've been playing all year long. Um, that's not going to change now that we're in the finals. Um, maybe I have to be a little bit more aggressive. i got to put pressure on the rim. Um, me with no free throws, that was all on myself, nobody else. So, you know, we'll definitely correct that next game, but only I can do that. Final question, fourth row on the right side. Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, Jamal got off to a really hot start, uh, was able to get both to his, his pull-up game and into his facilitating game. Gabe, I'm wondering what kind of challenges does he prevent when you try to lock up one-on-one? -on -one? And Jimmy, I know you kind of went after him a few times one-on-one, -on -one, try to get that switch. Is that a way you can get into his legs a little bit more in game two? I mean, Jamal's a talented player. He can score in a number of ways. Um, I think one of the things that makes him difficult to guard is when he gets off the ball. Um, and then you got to deal with the cuts, and he's circling back, and, and they know they're looking for him. You know, so when, he, when he's off the ball, you already know the ball is going to end up in his hands at some point. Um, you know, he's a dynamic scorer. He poses threats in different ways, and he's relentless. So um, it'll be a tall task, and we'll continue to work at it. And for me, uh, yeah, you got to attack um, and attack everybody, not just one individual. I have to do a better job of um, creating the help one, two guys and getting into my shooter, otherwise finishing at the rim, making shots. But uh, we missed a lot tonight and we'll be better in game two at the end of the day. That's what it is. So we'll, we'll take this, we'll learn from it, and we'll be back in two days. Thanks, gentlemen.